Alright, so what's going on guys? This has been a big issue with Call of Duty Ghosts and uh, the, the inability to use Fraps or DX Tori to record this game. And for whatever reason it is, whether it be Infinity Ward doesn't want their frame drops being shown, which is definitely present in the game, who knows? But I found a fix. And it's a very, very easy fix for PC players that want to be able to record their gameplay or do whatever they want with Fraps while in game. At least get the... the frame counter to show so you know what type of frames you got going so this is how you do it um, what you're going to want to do is make sure ghost is closed make sure fraps is closed i have it open right now for recording purposes only uh, so what you're going to do is go to your steam folder uh, default it is in your c drive program files 86 mine is not you would go down to the steam folder mine is actually just in the c drive uh, you would go down to steam you'll go to your steam apps and then common and then you would go to call of duty ghosts okay and in call of duty ghost folder there is a folder called apex you're going to want to open up apex and right here i have already done it you're going to find apex underscore particles underscore x 64 dot dll now what you're going to want to do is rename that and add the dot old at the end of it that's just in case something gets corrupted you can easily you know backspace the dlo Dot and get the regular file back. So what this is going to do is render that that uh, that file um, so that you won't be able to use it. And something to do with this file prevents Fraps from working. Now I'm going to go ahead and launch Call of Duty just to show you that this works. And we'll let Steam load it up. Come on. And there you go, guys. As you can see, I'm in the Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer menu. And we're sitting at about 45, 46, 44 frames per second. And I've tested this out. You can jump in any game you want to play. You can play with your friends. And you can record and have fun. And you can see the frame drops in the menus already happening. And for some reason, I can't connect to my online profile right now. For whatever reason. But uh, that's how you, you're able to get Fraps to work with Call of Duty Ghosts. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if this helped, please hit the like button below, subscribe if you have it, and share this video. That way, uh, you know, more people can actually fucking record this game, as shitty as it may be, and have fun with it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Take care.